In the research for my senior quiz questions, I discovered that this one individual contributed to victories in the air, on land, and sea. He designed some of the firearms our warriors used to fight for us. John Moses Browning The Browning Automatic Rifle The M1910, often referred to as Ma Deuce and the Old Lady, was mounted on jeeps and tanks, in the wings of our fighters, in the noses, turrets, and waist of our bombers. They were also carried by our infantry. The Navy used them on their bases and mounted them on PT boats. Thousands claimed that the 1911 they were issued as sidearms saved their lives. The second famous handgun, the P-35, served with the Allied armies in World War II. I think the logistics of ammunition for two handguns was the reason the U.S. Army relied solely on the Colt. In addition, General John T. Thompson's Tommy Gun, or Trench Sweeper, also eats 45 ACP cartridges. In this video, we take a look at one of John Browning's lesser-known contributions to World War II, the P-35 pistol. While the 1911 is often credited as his most iconic design, the P-35 played a crucial role as a sidearm for Allied forces during the war. Join us as we explore the history, features, and impact of this forgotten sidearm. The Browning 9mm P-35 pistol, also known as the High Power or BHP, is a legendary firearm that has stood the test of time. Developed by the one and only John Browning himself, this pistol has a rich history and a reputation for reliability and performance. First introduced in the 1930s, the High Power quickly gained popularity among military and law enforcement agencies around the world. Its sleek design and innovative features set it apart from the other pistols of its time. One of the key features of the high power is its capacity. With a magazine that can hold up to 13 rounds of 9mm ammunition, it offers shooters an impressive firepower advantage. This makes it an ideal choice for self-defense and combat situations. The M1911 magazine holds 7 rounds. The high power also features a single action trigger which provides a consistent and smooth pull. This allows for accurate shooting and enhances the overall experience. Another notable feature is its ergonomic design. The high power fits comfortably in the hand and offers a natural point of aim, making it easy to handle and control. This is especially important for shooters who require quick and accurate follow-up shots. In terms of reliability, the high power has earned a reputation for being highly dependable. Its robust construction and quality craftsmanship ensure that it can withstand the rigors of regular use. Whether in harsh conditions or high stress situations, the high power delivers consistent performance. Despite its age, the Browning high power remains a popular choice among firearms enthusiasts and collectors. Its timeless design and excellent performance continue to attract shooters of all skill levels. A pop culture symbol, it is featured in countless movies, TV shows, and video games. The high power has transcended its practical use to become a recognizable symbol of power and action. The Browning High Power 9mm P35 pistol is a true classic in the world of firearms. Its rich history, innovative features, and reliable performance make it a standout choice for any shooter. Whether you are a seasoned professional or a beginner, the high power will undoubtedly impress you with its timeless design and exceptional performance. So next time you think of World War II pistols, don't forget about Browning's other gem, the P-35. It may not have the same fame as the 1911, but its impact on the world of firearms is undeniable. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.